today we're going to be looking at Danganronpa 3, Side Hope. Now, I apologize, I'm talking really quiet, folks, but it's very late at night, it's 11 o'clock at night, so I have to do this review kind of quiet. Uh, I was thinking of doing it tomorrow, but the thing is, is that if I don't get this review up now, it's not going to, you know, be seen by a lot of people, and I kind of want to at least prom I promise to get this out today, so I'm going to try to get this out today. Anyways, though, let's talk about this, because honestly, this was an awesome episode. Great, great episode. Um... What we see here is this is the conclusion of both Danganronpa Future Arc, and we see it also be a conclusion to Danganronpa Side Despair, so this is Side Hope. Now, what's interesting about this is that we have what I predicted right away from off the gate of all the characters showing up from Danganronpa 2, Danganronpa 1, who are the ones that are still alive, and various other characters. And to the person that is watching this review, because most likely she is watching this review, and, you know, kept saying that, oh no, she's not alive, she's dead. Guess what? I was right. I told you I was right. She's still alive. Kyoko is alive indeed. Uh, but let's get into that later toward the end of the review. Um, I just want to talk about this episode. I'm not going to have a whole bunch of images up because, like I said, it's really late at night. I can't be doing, like, a million and one things. I'm, like, super tired. But um, what's interesting about this episode is it does feel like a true conclusion to a story. And that's one thing I think that is the best thing about it. You know, it still i'm not going to go into the graphics i'm not going to get or excuse me, the animations or arts or anything like that i'm not going to go into that the voice acting is all still there it's still amazing the music soundtracks all still there from everything else it's still wonderful so if you saw any of my reviews for the conclusions of either side despair or a uh, future arc it's still there all that stuff that i loved about both of those is still there but what's really great about this in itself is it's a conclusion this is what we needed for the series of Danganronpa to finally end at least this story for these characters you know you know class 77 and 78 this is this is their story and this is how it ended and i really appreciate it i, I mean i know some people have been saying it's rushed it wasn't it didn't feel like it was on par with how the whole series went but i feel like every little single thing that happened in this episode you know this conclusion ova type thing or whatever you want to call it or label it as felt perfect you know you had all your fan characters coming out, finally showing up for one more, one last hurrah. You had all your characters that are really important, so Hajime and Makoto, which of course you can see that right there. Um, they are the, the main character, they take center stage. And, you know, I think that's really cool. I really dig how they handled the, just having fan service and the sort of having all your characters back who survived, of course, the various games and stuff like that. Um, you know, the whole kind of, the whole episode essentially just went into where they had to fight various forces to stop, um, of course, Mirai from, you know, causing the ultimate hope video to kind of be unleashed on everyone. And, you know, they had to deal with various forces. They all had to kind of fight everyone and stuff like that. And what's cool about it was it was, it was nice. It was something that is very fitting for the show. It showed all the characters' special abilities being used in some way. I really dig, I really enjoyed it. I really did. Um, you know, one thing I loved was that they explained a lot of kind of little things that were needed to be explained. For example, how Kyoko survived. She took a drug that was made during the killing game that would reduce the poison effects. It did not mean it negated it completely. It just re like reduced it. So, you know, the ultimate nurse was able to find Kyoko and bring her back to life because she still technically wasn't dead. She was in, in a near-death state. So, I mean, honestly, that was cool. I thought that was very awesome. And, you know, at least in a way, it has a happy ending for Makoto because Makoto now being the ultimate hero in many ways, uh, that's, I think, what many people would call him, now has to essentially save the world in many ways of just making sure everyone is back on par with um, life and, you know, back on course. You know, the uh, remnants of despair now being cured of what they were are having to be seen as the enemy still. So they have to kind of go on the run. But they have to hold that burden, and you know, Makoto has his own burden because being a hero means he's going to be the target probably of people. But what's really cool is that we see him being the new headmaster for the new school, it looks like, and all the students that are from the, the last class are there, you know, helping out, doing all the stuff, so that's really cool. And, and I, I, I'm glad that just ended like that. I don't, I don't think you need anything further added to this story. Overall, you know, this is, I want to review, like, I just want to review this by itself because I know I told people that each one had their own ending, you know, side despair, side arc, or if she's side despair, side uh, future arc, they all had their ending. And even though this is a conclusion to both of those, this is by itself still a kind of its own entity, if that makes sense. You know, this is needed conclusion for both stories, but it is by itself. 
you know, overall, if I had to rate this from an A through F, a solid A+. Plus. I mean, hands down, it, it ends everything on a note that I feel comfortable with, and I really enjoyed the episode. I mean, I think it was a lot of fun to watch. I think it was, you know, really cool. I mean, I saw the conclusion happening from a mile away. I was spoiled on it uh, today because, I mean, everyone was tweeting out pictures of Kyoko surviving, but I wasn't surprised by that. You know, I knew she was going to live. I knew that for a fact. You know, I did also really like one scene with, um, and I'll mention it just kind of the off hilted thing, but you know, with um, Hajime and uh, Nanami, I love how they kind of had them there because, you know, Nanami is, of course, dead. She's really the, one of the biggest losses for the whole group. But, you know, Hajime's talking to her and, you know, he's, metaphorically, he's talking to her. And I think that was a really nice and touching scene. I mean, it, it showed that, you know, he still loves her and she still loves him, even though she's not there physically. You know, she was there in the AI program. So I thought that was kind of cool. Uh, overall, though, like I said, solid episode. You can't go wrong watching this. Anyways, guys and girls, I'm going to wrap it up here. I will talk to you all later. As always, please hit that like button if you like the video. Subscribe, share the video. You know the whole nine. I will talk to you all later tomorrow. Bye-bye, everyone.